Here we go. I'm first going to introduce you to the objects that you have in your lab kit that you will be using for intro to chemistry lab and also the objects that you should purchase at home or have in your household cabinets. So first, gloves, the most important part. You have two pairs of gloves in your lab kit and you also have a pair of safety glasses that you should put on while handling the chemicals. So down here I'm going to point out some of the materials that you have in your lab kit briefly. You have deionized water, it's also called distilled water. You have small bottles of reagents, this is burettes. Um, you have pH paper, this is iodine reagent. This will be your glucose solution. It is a powder and you will have to follow the instructions and add water to this material. You have Benedict's reagent. You will have acidic solution, which is also hydrochloric acid. You also have a buffered solution. Its label is pH of seven. You will have a graduated cylinder, plastic. You will have test tube clamps, a stirring glass rod. You have a metric ruler, a grease wax pencil to label your test tubes. You will have a baggie full of disposable pipettes. Please use them only once and dispose of them. You will have a baggie full of test tubes that you can rewash and reuse. You will also have a test tube holder, which you will use throughout the experiment. And of course, you will have your worksheet handy. You must read through this before starting the lab and make sure you're fully prepared. Over here, we have some of the substances that you will need at home. You may have to purchase them. You will have one egg, which is not shown here. You're going to need a saucepan um, for your stove top for heating some of these um, reactions. You're going to need a clock. You're going to need some vegetable oil, which is not shown here. You're going to need some white vinegar. I have in a huge bottle here. You're going to need some lemon juice, which is not shown. A little household ammonia, which I have in a small bottle. Be careful with the fumes. One apple seltzer tablet. You must prepare it in water according to instructions. You need about one fourth cup of dish soap and you're just going to dilute it with 100 milliliters of tap water um, in a little beaker or a cup. You need one small can of white potatoes, which is not shown here. You're also going to need one small bottle of little uh, white grape juice or a little box. I've got one actually in a little bottle here, some white grape juice. You need one small can of white navy beans, which is not shown, and an old toothbrush for washing your test tubes. And please do not use to wash your teeth after using for lab.